So what's up guys? Um, there's this um, plugin I'm using this one by Greg Billings. It's really cool. It has a little chart for DCA and the uh, other stuff. See this little chart? I got it working. It was literally tough. I'll use copy and paste the code in here. And we'll show. So make sure um, jQuery 2.0 is enabled and make sure ad blocker is disabled. And yeah, I keep on refreshing it to make it work. Like I had to work. And you can just download it, you clone, you click download, and then when you download, you just open it and you just paste it into here. And there's two versions of it. This is the regular version, unminified. So this is the source code. And you can read it if you want to learn how he did it. So this is this drawing with jQuery or JavaScript. So this is like the drawing, the entire function that draws. Um he's using variables, he's using the canvas. Make sure to kind of miss and make sure of jQuery to make this giant um, um, picture thing. So basically, this is like a, like a mini little profit chart. So this can also convert into creating like a little stock exchange, but you gotta do like, like an Ajax kind of a thing. Um, I'm a bit under the weather, so uh, I sound weird. Um, It shows dust, shows the pairs, games logs, DCA. So it does a lot. So this is the object and it has different containers. And what else? I don't know. It's very, very clean code and it works. Well, sometimes, sometimes it doesn't because his canvas is weird. So he's updated four hours ago. He made many different versions of it cleaner lines data he's got new features every other day so I guess he really loves his below mini project um, donate to him right here if you like this project um, I'm just gonna help him promote it because it's most a lot of people should start using this thing it's pretty cool I like it that's a little chart thing you know uh, the only thing you need to do is install CJS it's a custom JavaScript for websites the extension for your Chrome and you just you know, make sure jQuery is enabled and you make sure the URL is the same as the that one and then um, make sure you have jQuery 2.1 and that's about it and that's how this works peace out guys